Okay. Are you comfortable there or do you want to sit back? Just right. Okay. So, you've told me a lot about the old days of running. Are we, are we operating now? Yes, we are. <laughs> well, years ago, we were members of the YMCA, and there was a group of us, and there was one fellow, Helen, I remember very well, his name was Ted Schumann. And there was a man in there that came to visit the, the YMCA, and we had a kind of an athletic department. And he said, why don't you start a, a running organization? So this was before Bowerman. So finally, Ted Schumann and two or three others and I went out and we started running, whether it was raining or not. How we just keep running. How far would you go? Three miles. Three miles. We always had a three miles. And we always ran on the on the athletic tracks. But once in a while we'd branch out and move. I remember one time when we went, when they were building that new bridge across the Willamette River. And we ran over there and back, which was more than three miles. Uh -huh. And it always was exciting. So it grew and it grew, and it got to the point where sometimes they would have ten people, uh -huh. and there'd be ten of us out running, and we'd tell dirty stories and <laughs> experiences, and one thing or another. But we always started at six o'clock in the morning, <laughs> and my house, kind of the focal point for this uh, group, because I, I instigated the thing. And Chad Schumann, and he, kind of, he he lived near door, next door to me, and he kept working at me too. And so we just decided we'd just keep going. And it lasted, that group lasted for at least, oh, at least 10 years. Wow. Uh, running every morning. And uh, the rain or shine. How old were you then? Oh, I would say, at that time, probably 65 or 70. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure. John, is that wow. the one that Lynn, uh, Lance, Sid Lance and, uh, Cronin run with you too, didn't he? You see, right now I'm 100 and 100 years old and one month. 100 <laughs> and one month. That's very cool. And my memory is not quite as good as it used to be. I know, because the month is quite a push of it. Jim, work for that month. <laughs> well, we had lots of fun together, and uh -huh. we'd have uh, telling stories about it. And once in a while, we'd run into trouble. Uh, we were over there at uh, Cal Young. Somehow or another, somebody got some barbed wire on the track. Some of us kind of run. Mm. Ran into that barbed wire and we scratched our leg, and I've still got a scar from, <laughs> from that barbed wire that was on the track. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, I remember one time when we were running and we were at North High School, and there was a young man running off in the distance, and we hadn't seen him before. We kind of wondered who he was, and we found out it was Pre Fontaine, and he <laughs> was here for a high school track meet, yes. and he was practicing. Uh, to um, for this track meet. So he was up from from Coos Bay. He and was just from Coos Bay. Yeah. <laughs> Did he have yeah. long hair that, at that point? And we always had trouble with dogs. We'd run, you know, and there'd always be dogs in the neighborhood. But we didn't. We took. We go to a different place because we needed variety, you know. And that was the thing. And uh, we'd have. Sometimes two or three dogs chasing us. <laughs> <laughs> but we never went to the university. Never ran on the university track. Oh, really? On the field? You never went to Hayward? We went to the high schools mm -hmm. and grade schools and on the street. And anyhow, it was a great experience. Well, anyhow, that's how running started in Eugene. And we always kind of critical of Barman because I knew Barman real well and um, he always took credit for starting track here, I mean uh, <laughs> running on the streets, but 
We started it. He didn't do it. Oh, shit. And, <laughs> and somehow or another, I was over in the hospital one time, and I was so surprised. He didn't walk power on it. So I told him about it and gave him hell about it. Because he didn't start this track program. We started it. And so that's the way it is. Anyhow, one of the nicest experiences in my life. And it, it, we just kept doing it and doing it. And then when I quit, Schumann kept after me and giving me hell because I didn't want to run anymore. I'd get too old. You were 75. <laughs> oh, at least I was between 65 and 75. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's the way it is, isn't it, Benny? That's right. That's yeah. right. And now Benny comes after me and takes me out to Valley River and we walk. Are you still walking there? Yeah. No, no, and, no, no. no Brails. <laughs> we go to Brails. Mm -hmm. And the other day, a good-looking young woman, kind of plump, but a good-looking, <laughs> and she came in and she had a man with her, and I couldn't place her to save my life. And all of a sudden it dawned on me, she was the assistant manager of Valley River Village Shopping Center. And they wanted me to tell them some stories. And she had me sign a slip of some kind. And she left me a beautiful box of, of a chair of uh, chocolates. chocolates. I had some of those. <laughs> <You had> some. <laughs> uh -huh. And what she's going to do with that slip I signed, I don't know, but she gave me a big kiss. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I forgot that. No. <laughs> Plump or not. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, this is a great world. Now today, show you the experiences I have. We were eating a nice lunch and all of a sudden I realized that my bag was full. So I couldn't, I had to be careful. I couldn't do I couldn't uh, drink any more milk. <laughs> no, no, you don't want to explode. <laughs> I, I didn't want to explode that. <laughs> so the lady that works here, she says, come on out in the living room and I'll take care of it. So she came out with a little drain it out here, right here in the living room. And it worked. So you're all, you're drained. And I'm all all right now. You're all drained, you're okay. <laughs> yeah. Is the mic going to pick up close enough? This distance sure. is going to be good. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. <laughs> but uh, one of the important things in my life is that, oh, Benny Bartell, he keeps after me. He say, where's that hearing man? Hearing aid man you got, he isn't worth a damn because half the time you can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it isn't his fault well, because good. I'm getting old. <laughs> Let me move it into so a little bit. Just quit. Get a little closer. Coming in for the close-up. There we go. So, was had Bowerman, had they started Nike by then, when you were running? We were running when Bowerman started it up. But now go get some chocolates. You know where they are. Uh, they're in your room, but your room has yeah, changed. It's down there. Over there. Didn't, no, you're down there now, aren't no, you? Over here. Oh, he's over here. He's over mm -hmm. here. Oh, yeah. In the back corner. This place confuses me. I'm getting old. I think I'll just stay here in this chair. I turn to your. Now go in there. Now turn to your right. Now clear in the back. Left. Left. You're on the right. <laughs> what are you going to do with this? I I think he just wants to record it to keep it as a record. I'm not sure. I, he'll show it to somebody. I'm sure. Where do you live in Los Angeles? Uh, Sacramento now. Sacramento. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've been in Sacramento for about 15 How's years now. How's the weather? When did you come back? Chocolate? Oh, no thank you. No <laughs> Chocolate? Thank you. Um, it's you and me. Yeah, I'm just up visiting for a few days. Um, Good but, yeah, but we met in L.A. Um, oh, did you? Yeah, speed skating. No, already really speed skating. Wow. Yeah. Anyhow. Ooh. Yeah, I met him skating around on the rink in Los Angeles in 1980. Wow. <laughs> yep. Gee, that's amazing. Well, it was interesting in mm -hmm. different places we used to run. Mm -hmm. And we'd run into lots of different obstacles. 
like I said, that barbed wire, we couldn't see it, it was dark. We no flashlights. Have, we didn't have flashlights. Had they been invented? <laughs> <laughs> They'd been invented, haven't they? <laughs> that mind is amazing. Yeah. There you go. Huh? Go oh, have flashlights with chocolate. No, chocolate gives me canker sores. Oh. Ah. Mm. A lot of acid and chocolate. They give him canker mm -hmm. sores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank Not you me. anyway, John. <laughs> So, do you have anything to say? Now, is Warren Buffett your nephew or your cousin? What? Is Warren Buffett your nephew or your cousin? Cousin. Cousin. First cousin. Uh -huh. He looks to me for advice. <laughs> <laughs> Calls me. I said, John, what's the city living so long? <laughs> I said, I didn't the dam. <laughs> when you get far a, a, a hundred years, it just well clear. <laughs> no, John, that's not true. You've got another hundred years in you. <laughs> yeah, I picked him yeah. up every day mm -hmm. when he was over there. Well, I no, I'll tell you what. Coffee every day. We had Benny, that Benny used time. to have oh, it's good. the biggest plastering company in the, in the county. Yeah. And this was one of this was a building here was built by well he can tell you, but it was built by Warehouser. Uh huh. A warehouser lived here. Mm -hmm. Didn't he really? Yeah, and I plastered this house. I was a plastering contractor. Ah. We did the whole center. Uh-huh. Cool. Yeah. Well, You've heard of Warehouser. Oh yeah. Yeah, well Halt Center, you don't we, know what the Halt Center is. We on. we met um speed skating and, and then uh, we started to work I together in the printing business. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Commercial printing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For, I don't know, 15 years? 15 years. So. I didn't have a job. And we're skating around, and he says, we need someone to help out at the printing company. Do you think you want to do it? <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. And so 15 years of that. <laughs> uh huh. My first real living. <laughs> Printing business is getting kind of tough, isn't it? Uh, these days, yeah. Yeah, bet it is. Yeah. It's, it's still a lot better than you think. Some of our old ones are going out of business. Cookie. Yeah. Went out. Yep. Big print company. Yeah, well, the internet is definitely having an effect on all of that. Big printing companies have gone down the tubes here yeah, lately, yeah. just the past month or two. Yes, they yeah, have. they sure have. It's a shame. Mm -hmm. Northwest Web, Coke. Mm -hmm. Big, but it's just the way the times are. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, Lee looks good, after me. I don't know where she is, but well, if I could find her, I'd have her buy a cup of coffee. We'd you have a party. Go, but it's <laughs> painful sometimes. Mm -hmm. You want me to get you a cup of coffee? Okay. Here. Well, <laughs> we can go somewhere else if you want to go out and get a cup of coffee. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, when Benny comes, he gets me and takes me to to Braille's every morning until I just got old and we have coffee and we match. You're still going to Braille's every morning? Yeah, well, he is. since he moved here, he hasn't, but he's going to start going again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Yeah, we've had some good. He was my attorney when I started in business. He uh -huh. gave me some good advice over the years. Uh huh. Yeah, he has. We've known each other for a long time. Yeah. I think I'm just going on about ten years. <laughs> uh -huh. Something I've known you for about ten years at least. Yeah. At maybe. least maybe a little more. You knew me when I lived on the farm. Sure. I brought my whole family out there. You what? I brought my family out to the farm. Yeah. And we went out and back, and something happened. The dock was, the boards were breaking on the dock. I can't remember, but. That was a great place. Mm -hmm. I had a farm. Uh -huh. On this farm was on a 10 acre lake. Uh -huh. And strange as it may seem, Highway 99 went through it, Northern, Burlington Northern went through it, the Southern Pacific went through it. And Highway 
prairie road went through it. And then behind the house, the house was built right on this lake. And behind the house was a 10 acre lake. And in behind that was a nice, quiet field, a real nice field. Mm -hmm. And we used to have more fun out there. And one time, I looked down, I was sitting all in the back porch, and uh, there was a commute, uh, some sort of a commute, what are you going to say the word? That damn candy has upset me. <laughs> Anyhow. A commotion? Here comes a wild two oh. geese the mother and the father, mm -hmm. and there were four little ones in between them. And over on the bank was a, was a uh, uh, fox, and they were squawking at this fox and tantalizing the fox. <laughs> and by, by gosh, they just go right on down the lake, and the fox was running right along beside him, but he was afraid to go out in the water. <laughs> and that was I've heard this story. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll never forget that story. How'd they get to the other side? <laughs> More visitors. Do you know this guy? Yeah. I don't know. I'll tell you, when he gets here, well. Well, I'll run along, John. It's Abe now. I'll go to let him in. Okay, I'll put the candy back. You're going, I'm putting the candy back. Unless he wants some candy. <laughs> you want some candy? That's just what I need is a piece of candy. <laughs> My candy. It'll no, perk you right up. <laughs> Take two. Nice meeting you guys. Oh, nice meeting Benny. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. We didn't even many. <laughs> oh yes, Benny Barkell. I'm a so-called friend of that. Oh yeah, is that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> a so-called friend. John, I'll see you. All right, Benny. I'll call you when I need you. All right, <laughs> I'm available any time, you know that. These two men are famous. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Now his name is Abernathy, uh -huh. and there's a railroad station on the Southern Pacific known, known as Abernathy, uh -huh. and it was named after him. There was not hardly. The station was named after him. Who was it? Not hardly. The, the depot. A right away on the railroad, oh, railroad uh -huh. station was named after him. It isn't even spelled like my name, John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a good story. Mine's T-H-E-Y, and that's T-H-Y. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. Abe's a friend of mine, and uh, he helps me uh, celebrate together out at the... Uh, He's our CEO. Valley uh, River Inn. Oh. We have coffee there. Uh, Valley River. Uh-huh. Not the Inn. Valley River Inn. Uh-huh. No, Valley River Valley Shopping River, Center. not the Inn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I and saw his, got, his best buddy, his caregiver, and he's the fireman got, this morning. Huh? He's got a beautiful <laughs> daughter. Oh. Oh, she's married, though. You, no, you, <laughs> no, you, you're thinking about it. Okay, I'll just forget about it. <laughs>